Uh, beep beep everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we're going to open up some 2023 Top Series 1 hanger boxes. Uh, all I've opened up on this channel so far is just one hobby box of this and it was less than thrilling I would say. Um, my experience with hobby or I mean ha hanger boxes in the past was they they kind of had a lot of bang for the buck. There was a um, I don't know. I just like them. They they had they had a lot more stuff in them. I like them better than blaster boxes, and they're cheaper than blaster boxes. So this uh, this contains 67 cards. Uh, look for autograph and relic cards, which we probably won't find. Um, here are your odds if you are curious about them. And there's the no purchase necessary information. Nothing else on the box, so let's open them up and have a look and see if we find anything good in here. Oh, Nathan the Gnome. Boop, boop, boop for good luck. So here's our uh, bag of uh, 67 cards or so. I'm going to uh, go like a little bit past the midway point. And let's see what order these are in. Uh, all right, we got them upright, I guess. Okay, uh, starts off with the Red Sox card. Uh, Marcus Wilson, that's a really great photo there. Bat meets ball. Uh, Tanner Scott. Uh, Danny Jimenez. We've got our um, National League batting average leaders, McNeil, Freeman, and Goldschmidt. Reese Lightning. Hoskin provides jolt for Phillies. So I'm thinking, uh, I guess that's the Phillies team card. Kenley Jansen. Uh, you say Kikuchi. Diamondbacks. Another team card. Angels. Water everywhere. That was one of the themes I noticed. Um, well, maybe it was just me focusing on it, but it just seemed that there was an awful lot of water being thrown in the air in this set. Uh, like th this, this photo here, the hair, and I don't know, there's particles all in the air, so I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Uh, earn run average leaders in the National League. That's Urias, Alcantara, and Freed. Caleb Smith. Mitch Hanniger. David McKinnon, rookie card. Uh, Marcel Ozuna. Taylor Rogers. Kyle Stowers, rookie card. Taylor Ward. Randall Grychuk. Luis Garcia, Great photo. Um, Albert Almora pointing at something. I'm, I think I'll come up with something funny for that one at some point. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. running and burping at the same time. Uh, Joey Votto. Brad Miller. Luis Robert. Kevin Kiermeyer, Shea Langoliers. Rookie card. Wonder if that has any connection with the movie the Langoliers from when was that back in the 80s or 90s can't remember Cedric Mullins here's the interesting stuff in the middle of the pack we have a blue border parallel of Seiya Suzuki that is not numbered it's on the 1988 tops design you got T88 in the number back here uh, we got a Blue uh, border Cesar Hernandez. That's also not numbered. Kind of a different blue than that blue. Uh, I'd have to look this up to find out what the differences are between the two blues. I'm wondering if this looks like a Father's Day blue. Remember they have Father's Day blue cards? 
Stars of MLB, Fernando Tatis Jr., Ozzie Albies, Nolan Gorman rookie card, and Byron Buxton, who spots a UFO up in the sky. We got Mike Trout on the 1988 Topps design. That's pretty cool. And Jeff Bagwell, 30-30 club. Hmm. I didn't know Jeff Bagwell had 30-30 season. I've got to look at his stats a little more closer. I don't know how I missed that. Cattell Marte spots a UFO in the sky. Key Brian Hayes. Davis Martin rookie card and Christian Yelich. The rest of the box, Reese Hoskins, Jeter Downs rookie card, Tyler Mall, uh, John Gray, Luis Arias. That's a pretty cool photo. He's in completely in the air. He might be completely in the air in that one, so I may put that aside. Uh, future stars, uh, is that what that says? Wander Franco, cool. Adrian Hauser, Cal Raleigh, Tyler McGill, Riley Green rookie card, Sean Murphy, uh, Leover Peguero rookie card, Yasmani Grandal, Yandy Diaz, that's a pretty neat photo. Uh, maybe I'll separate that one out because it's a pretty cool photo. Uh, Toronto's Young Stars Celebrate. That is, uh, I believe, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and Bo Bichette. Yep, got that right. <laughs> Alex Verdugo spots a UFO in the sky. Oscar Gonzalez rookie card. Owen Miller. Santiago Espinal, Tyler Stevenson, Martin Perez, Seiya Suzuki, Steven Matz, Nick Prado rookie card, William Contreras, and Brandon Crawford. I think I have Brandon over in my PC part. I don't know. <laughs> Second box. Beep, beep. All right, we'll just go slightly past the midpoint. We have our wins leaders. That's uh, Kyle Wright, Julio Arias, and Yu Darvish. Kyle, I think, is the only pitcher last year to win 20 games. Uh, Tiascar Hernandez spotting a UFO in the sky. Roni Garcia, Nick Pavetta. Rafael Devers, Joe Barlow, Cleveland Indians card. <laughs> Looks like uh, pieces of a of one of those feathered pillows are in the air in there. One, what's going on there? Uh, Cardinals card. RBI leaders: Alonso, Goldschmidt, and Lindor. Um, tough as nails. Unmatched energy in Cleveland. Couple people burping there. Kyle Gibson. Uh, Brayan Bello. Keegan Thompson. Ryan Helsley. Oswald Peraza rookie card. Harold Castro. Jordan Lyles. Salvador Perez. Tyrone Taylor. Trevor Rogers. Uh, just double checking. Sometimes I get names confused. Alex Wood, Jonah Bride rookie card, uh, Paven Smith, Jake Cronenworth, Brian Servan rookie card, Shohei Otani letting out a big burp there, Aaron Nola, Corey Lee rookie card, Max Fried, Carlos Rodon.
Jordan Alvarez. Um, I guess this is a rainbow foil card. Uh, it's not numbered. Uh, stars of MLB, Javier Baez, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Shohei Otani, and Wander Franco. We got Miguel Cabrera on the 1988 Tops design. And 2022 Greatest Hits, Manny Machado. That's a pretty cool looking card. And the rest of the hanger box, Clayton Kershaw, Andrew Benintendi, Christian Javier, Burping, Tommy Pham, Herman Marquez, Patrick Sandoval, Shane Beaver, Kevin Gaussman, Sandy Alcantara, uh, Bo Brisky, Tyler O'Neill, who's got an oven mitt on, Vaughn Grissom rookie card, Jorge Mateo, uh, Evan Lee rookie card, Rizal Iglesias, Michael Chavez, Michael Grove rookie card, Mike Trout, uh, Alec Bohm. Vinny Pasquantino rookie card. I've heard some people say some nice things about him, so I'm going to uh, put him in my um, stars pile. This is my commons pile. I may, you know, flip them between the two, depending. I'll eventually look up some of the names. I'm not familiar with everyone that's out there. Jonathan Aranda rookie card, and I'm especially not good with prospects. Josh Rojas. I guess I just need to sit down and spend some time doing that. Hugh Darvish, Mark Apple, rookie card. Max Stassi, Daniel Vogelbach, burping. David Villar, rookie card. Liam Hendricks, who's burping also. Jeffrey Springs, and Cal Quantrill. And that is two hanger boxes of 2023 Top Series 1. Um, nothing real exciting in those two hanger boxes. So, um, I haven't had much luck with, uh, pulling good stuff out of 20, 20, blah, 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 2023 yet. Um, but then all I've opened up is one hobby box and two hanger boxes. Not sure if I'm going to buy more of this or not. Um, I think I may have the base set complete between the two hanger boxes and the hobby box. So, it might be just best for me to, to actually go out and shop for singles out there. Um, maybe on eBay or, or if I had a local card shop, I'd definitely have a better chance of finding stuff there. But I don't have one real close by, and I wish I did. But anyway, um, let me know what you think of uh, the hanger boxes. Um, which which of the products that Series 1 has is, is uh, worthy of buying and I know a lot of people have told me the jumbo boxes are great, but the jumbo boxes cost a lot of money, and I'm not willing to spend that much money um, on a product like this, um, especially since I kind of get the feeling that they've produced a lot of these. <laughs> so I don't want to get oversaturated with it. Um, I'm more or less waiting for the next thing to come out. Um and uh, I got a gift card for Target, so I'm probably going to use that when I start seeing some new stuff come out. Like, I'm waiting for 2023 Donruss to come out. I'd like to get some of that. I've always enjoyed uh, the Donruss stuff. I'm not sure what's up next for Tops. I'll have to look at the schedule. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Um, thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Beep, beep.